this is the battle we've been waiting for right here. Phil Hellmuth against Antonio Sfandiari, two of the most accomplished players in poker history. And look at this, Art is cutting out a bluff raise. 51,000 from Art. It's just a really great play by Art. And Antonio goes all in, and Destin's gonna win a $45,000 pop. That shit, fuck champ. We got H-high, man? No. Wait, it's high race. I got seven high like a bar. Race to 50 from Brian. Pretty far. It goes <laughs> seven <laughs> ways. <laughs> Me and Mike are straight. Phil with the bigger straight, and Seth Curry with the biggest straight. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god. No way! Whoa! What just happened? If anybody knows me, I bluff, but I don't mind. This is poker, ladies and gentlemen. All right, we are ready to go. The million dollar cash game is underway. Everybody has bought in for at least $100,000. The blinds are 100, 200 with a $200 big blind Annie. I'm going to leave you guys with JJ De La Garza. Welcome to the million dollar cash game. We're going to get some action. Yeah. You have a sick guy today? Uh, Matt's going to go with uh, our old standard for lot 10x, I guess. 10x yeah. is the standard, yeah. That is a nice standard. I'm you used to do 20x sometimes. <laughs> for, when well, you're feeling frisky, you go People 20X. like to see flops. Yeah, yeah. 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 For 100,000 buy-in, I think 2,000 is your minimum motion, no matter what right. state. Yeah. You sure. make it 1020, whatever. I like that. I would be way in for a minimum raise size of 2,000. <laughs> you can limp or 2,000. I love it. Friend of a friend, have became friends. Yeah. Raises six hundred. Twenty two hundred. Twenty two hundred. Unknown hand for Prahlad. So if he continues, we'll try to figure this out together. Oops. Peels out of position with Jack Seven suited and gets there. Check. Small bet from Prahlad. Matt Berkey make the discipline lay down here. Ten seconds. I think he knows that this is a board that Perlot is under bluffing on. You can only name one bluff here. Hard to believe that Perlot turned in pocket sevens into a bluff here or something along that. Pocket tens probably just wants to get the showdown. Matt looks like he wants to fold this hand. This would be pretty disciplined in a three bet pot to lay this down. Matt Berkey is capable though. Very good professional poker player. And the old saying in poker, think long, think wrong. It looks like Matt Berkey's just gonna pay it off. And he does. That would have been a pretty impressive fold by Matt Berkey if he would have made that one. I think in game I'm probably just calling off there. Just want to see what the player's hand is. His instincts were right. I usually don't make people show their hands. If they say jack high, I just flip over my hand. Unless it's another professional or reg in the game, I'm like, all right, man, I want to see what you're doing. But if it's an action and fun player, 
I hardly ever make them show their hand whenever I think I'm good on the river. Look at that turn card. Matt Berkey with a check mark now. Matt Berkey floated because Garrett could still be three betting and C betting with hands like ace, king, ace, queen, king, queen, queen, jack type hands. Thirteen thousand seven hundred in the pot. Cool, I guess. If you bluff, you gotta go nuts on the thing. Big bet from Matt. Eight thousand to go. Trips now for G-Man. All in. Player goes all in. And Matt Berkey goes all in here for forty-five thousand six hundred dollars. Yeah, he just thought you were. Yeah, so he just. He pushed a small edge, maybe if you pulled more than. Yeah. No, no, no. I'm gonna reset it for you. Yeah. Yeah. Tough spot for Garrett Adelstein. He has trips, but he loses to a lot of flushes here. Also some 5-6 suited and some ace-5 suited hands as well. He does lose to some dominated 10s. But Garrett does beat some hands like pocket jacks and pocket kings that might play in this manner. Just aggressive, yeah. Oh, yeah. Good way to play my limit. Garrett does beat something like 9-10 as well. Tough spot for Garrett here on this river trying to figure this hand out. of you guys in the chat saying that kings, jacks, aces do not play like this, and you've never seen Matt Berkey play. Matt Berkey plays very unorthodox and goes very thin for value. Ah, and Garrett makes the hero fold. And we've seen Garrett like to make a lot of sick, thin calls and gets away from trip tents there. What a good fold by Garrett Adelstein, and that's why he's one of the best. Once again, 
again, guys. Here at the bike, we have a high hand here every uh, half hour, 550. So if you're playing in games here on Fridays and Saturdays, what they do is they have a board here and they keep posting the highest hand, whether it's quads or a straight flush. And if your hand holds, then you get an extra 550. We have a colossal jackpot as well. Some of the hold'em games. Looks like it's a hundred thousand dollar jackpot every even hour, from 12 p.m. to 1 a.m. You know, like say there was a graphic. Oh, like yeah. as, as soon as he folded, then whatever he had just flashes like a graphic. <laughs> yeah, wait it out. The, the fact that Garrett out. folds that hand to an aggressive yeah. opponent like Matt Berkey is just. Beyond me, Garrett is just that sick. Folds the, pretty much the top of his range. Besides, flushes there. Peeps in the chat that are saying that's an easy fold. You obviously haven't played against Matt Berkey or seen Matt Berkey play. Matt Berkey is capable of mayhem and big bluffs. Interesting line here from Nick. And you see how sick Garrett is. He just folded trips and here he's thinking about calling with King High. with King High. So those of you guys who think that, you know, easy fold by Garrett and Berkey's not bluffing a lot enough, Garrett is very sick player and I kind of think that... We did one show for a couple of Here with the pocket aces, known as the angels or the skyscrapers. He looks, he looks so happy in that tournament. That was having a nice time. Yeah, they're yeah. fun. They're, they could be yeah. fun. Six. 
I usually go through like many like emotional phases throughout a tournament. Like oh, I'm sure, yeah. I go in like pumped, and then I go in, and then I get like super like depressed, yeah. and then I'm like, what, why are you mad? Like you've done so well in your life, and I get happy again, and then and it kind of like dwindles down a little bit to get yeah. depressed, and then towards the end I'm like, fuck it, yeah. can't win them all. Well, I think. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> it goes to show, like, it's how, for us, sorry. Um, like, life, life has very little to do with, like, what's actually going on. It's just, like, whatever's in your head. You yeah, know? yeah. At, at that moment, whatever's yeah, in my head. Exactly. And a check race from Matt Perky here with a gut shot and a backdoor flush draw, repping a nine. Like, I just want to win so bad every time I play tournament. Yeah. But it's so unlikely. You like, and everyone else in that tournament. Yeah, I probably wanted to win less than almost anyone there. Yeah. No, I, I mean that, like. I'm sure there were a few people who cared less than I did. But. Matt Berkey improves to an open ended. There was one guy who I played poker with several times. I don't want to say okay. his name. And he comes and sits at my table and I'm like, What's up, man? Like, how you been? And then he, like, ignores me. Damn. Uh, and so I, like, just say it again and he looks at me and goes, <laughs> and the table was like all like super pros anyway. Like, what was like, that? Like I would never do that ever. Like uh, like yeah, it was really important to him that uh, like the rest of the table didn't know that he knew me. Or like yeah, yeah he knew you because if he knows you, then he's like not a pro. Yeah. Thirty-seven thousand five hundred dollar <laughs> pot. Completely psychotic behavior. Like, and that was when like that was when it hit me like just how fucking serious these people are taking. I'm not that much. And can Matt Berkey that's find the triple barrel bluff here? Like at all exaggerated. How many days in the level one was that? It was like oh, how many levels the before was dinner that? on day two. And it if you're Matt, far. Nick's hand looks a lot like aces, kings, queens, and an overpair. Yeah, that's that's the next level. Oh, that's that's pretty strong. And Matt Berkey goes all in for forty-five thousand seven hundred, and he says he has a nine in his hand. Check raise. Barrel off here for Matt Berkey. Tough spot for the pocket aces Some being this deep. That's why sometimes when you're playing There's guys. 500 big blinds deep. I never played with him before. I think his name is like Noah. Noah with an overpair, it's very tough. They're super nice to me. Chilling the whole time, talking. He, he's really funny. Yeah. He's, yeah, he's cool. super funny. Funny guy. Talks about sports betting, like degenerate habits and stuff. Like he, apparently he's like a huge sports better. Oh, yeah. Matt Berkey is I'm saying he has a nine here or has some sort of full house. Yeah, really <laughs> Something like eight, nine. Ten, seven. If there's ever a time where like it's like Some straights in the mix. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? Like, there's nothing to fucking learn anyway. Sorry. 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 These guys chatting it up, and there's an $83,000 pot in progress. Matt Berkey is a very creative player. He can have bluffs here, and he can have tons of value. Nick Vertucci in the ultimate pressure cooker here. With pocket aces on this paired board on the river. Nick has to call 45,000 to win a pot of 83,000. So he only has to be good here one in three times. Pot size bet here for Matt just about. Oh, and Nick gives it up. <laughs> Funny. <laughs> How do you know that? Man? <laughs> Having fun yet? Not stuck enough? Still in that kind of like weird. I completely forgot that I had a prior commitment today. Yeah, and then it 
became one of those things where it's like, wow, I can't bail again. Checks through the flop, and Garrett gets there with trips on the turn. He's going to play tricky and check it. Wow, what a river card. Garrett with the full house, and Matt Berkey also with the river full house. That is an action river card. There's going to be some money piled in on this river. That's for sure. Berkey's going to go for a big bet here or something to the fine tune of like eight or $10,000. Hoping that Garrett has a nine here. Raise it up. 10,000 10, to go right on point. Matt did not three bet pre flop. Meaning that he can't really have pocket kings here or jacks. Matt might slow play, actually, pocket jacks at a small frequency. That's the only hand he's really worried about. Maybe sometimes king nine and jack nine suited. Not very many combos. Garrett has a nine in his hand. Oh, and Garrett just calls. Garrett just calls. I went forward with the next story better. Yeah. <laughs> Not your hand, but if you were three by me. That's what I know. Yeah. yeah. That's what I mean. Wow. And Garrett just makes the call. Matt Berkey saves a lot of money. Like a nice chap, though, anyway. <laughs> 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 Drain it, you know? <laughs> nice chat, anyways. Pretty good. Care with Whatever. an open and Matt with a three bet. Good board for Garrett, and you better believe Matt's going to continue to barrel here. He's repping range, plus he's got a gut shot. And an over pot size bet here for Matt Berkey. Very unorthodox bet. from Garrett. 19,500 in the pot and that's a good turn card for Matt Berkey to continue his aggression. He still could have aces, ace king, ace queen, pocket tens. He has a lot of value here. Could even have a hand like ace nine suited, ace four suited. Interesting. He went for an over pot size bet on the flop and now less than half the pot size on the turn. It's going to continue. And just like that, we have a $36,000 pot. River is an eight, and Matt Berkey gets there with the runner, runner straight.
Matt goes all in for a pot size bet. Garrett made a good fold earlier. Let him bluff me again, maybe. Can he do it once again? And Garrett makes another sure good fold. <laughs> Usually I get a good for you right there if I say something like that. So, and I just, that yeah. might mean he was going to bluff but got there. Yeah. Could be that way. Queen J. That's Josh, you just, you're a cube that one right now. <laughs> no, it doesn't have to be, but it could mean that. That's not really right. Right. like a Queen J. Yeah. What you, you over bet the flop? Yeah. Over bet, bet, bet. <laughs> Ivan Martinez but says, what's no the idea. count? That was all I was going it. for. On any street, like, you know, I if, no uh, idea. If I could just make Garrett be confused, it should work. Bet stop we'll get the bet. graphic up in a bit. Come on. We're having a party. Crazy now you're going to make me bluff you out of this fucking hand. 3,700. Big three bet, squeeze from Nick with ace king of diamonds. Garrett with pocket tens. Laughing at me as I just tried to. Stop laughing at me. Guys, over bet fucking tonight? serious poker player. Call. Call. Thirty-seven. Garrett's gonna call. Call. And Matt with my favorite hand, the snowman, is also in the mix. Just watching some of the videos where guys are using most all this, they're like, man, that's the same shit I used to do. Art with the deuces. Tricky hand to play this deep. He can call, but Sefer said his real being this deep. Wow, and he would have flopped a set. First, a flush. Oh, man. Oh, my gosh. Muhammad Kasuri, Karib Sweden. I had a 4,000 in top set from Garrett. Art would have lost a huge pot. And I called it before this hand. I said, Sefer said is real. We would have seen... Yeah. Of course, I was so... We would have seen over a $200,000 pot this hand. That's how dumb I was. Garrett raises it up to 16,000. Oh, you mean like when it went down? Yeah. So I got a huge refund. And then they were like, oh, we'll give you 9%. I was like, oh, that's just free money. I'll just keep it in there. And then just lost, dusted off like eight, 900. <laughs> Probably got cheated. I mean, who knows? Maybe I just got beat straight And up Nick's going to call and now has that's one pot size bet behind. Better. You know, Once Jungle you Man and Ike started coming around. Yeah. And once you start getting changes, it's difficult to, to know, to know was, where yeah. you fell off and where like, the game's just crooked. So, well, yeah, in retrospect, did you, did you feel like... Oh, yeah, yeah, there was a lot of hands, like, obvious hands. And At the time, did you think it, it was like, oh, something's shady? I just thought it was variance. I just, I know poker oh. is crazy, so, so I just... Think, like, check? Uh, yeah, I just... Oh, Garrett I checks back. He's worried about pocket so aces. Goes, you know? Sometimes you lose three million straight. <laughs> In a very all short in. amount of time. All in. Uh, <laughs> and yeah. Nick goes I mean, all in like, with the nut like flush. A game, I'd have like 120k on the table, and then a yeah. Terra Sweden guy would come out of nowhere, post me up, and every session he'd have all my money. Yeah. Nick is hoping that playing. Garrett has a queen of diamonds in his hand, because he has the first yeah. Yeah. or the nuts, the second bad. nuts locked up this guy with his ace and king in his hand of yeah, diamonds. He was like threatening people. People, people, out on people were people were. Well, I've said his name a lot of times. People are scared of him because like the, he said he was connected to some Hell's Angels or some Swedish gang. Or something. That was the thing with Marciotti too, right? Didn't he have some involvement with that? I think he was affiliated with this guy somehow. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Thirty. Yeah, that guy. A D Z. Yeah. Thirty-seven thousand. Yeah, he was. The one of the guys they they listed and they I think they gave some of the screenings. That was that that guy cheated me. Yeah. 
Yeah, he's probably connected with Muhammad Kasuri too. All buddies or something. They used to follow me around on Stars. I, I sent Stars an email saying like these guys from wherever are always following me around, always beating me, and there's something that doesn't feel right. And then they said they're in violation of our rules, but we can't tell you what. And 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 we're wow. And Garrett Foles is set. What a bad run out. That jack of diamonds costed Nick about forty thousand dollars of real money. I wouldn't play anyone that I didn't recognize. I would only play like celebrity poker players or whatever. That was like that's all I would play for a while. I was like, I'd rather play a top player than some random guy from Copenhagen or whatever the fuck. Andy, the big winner so far. He's been up the whole show. He's up twenty-seven thousand. Prahlad, the next biggest winner, up 14,000. Art up 11,500. Ralph up 5K. Nick down 4,000. Garrett down 5,000. God, I'm going to bluff so much the last two hours. And Matt Berkey <laughs> down 47,000. And Matt Berkey announcing that he's going to bluff so much the last two hours of the show. There it is. I'm a full aces again to bluff. For sure. For sure, for sure. Andy with king queen. Prahlad with pocket queens. And Prahlad's going to raise the flop with the best hand here. So an unorthodox line thus far. Prahlad raised it up pre-flop to 800, a 4x raise. Andy called, and then Prahlad checks on a jack high flop. Andy takes a stab at it. Prahlad puts in the check raise. And Andy three bets the flop in position. This is very, very unorthodox from both players. Andy basically saying that he has pocket threes, pocket fours, maybe pocket jacks. And that's it. Otherwise, he's repping some sort of draw or an air ball like he has. Turn is a nine of clubs. No, 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 So no, Andy no. picking up a free. second nut flush video, draw. Prahlad's you know, really still with the best hand with pocket queens. <laughs> Andy can hit how, a club how fast would you or a king or a 10 game now game. as he picks up a gutter as well. Body language, uh, then, so I up with, no, feel free to oh, I know. Uh, and Andy's going to continue firing. That, uh, that river bluff I ran on Poker Go, how quickly would you have called? Would you have beat the 18 seconds or uh, would you have tortured me? I think it was 13 seconds. No, it was 18. I went back and looked. Andy going nuts eight. this hand. Uh, Three betting the flop with an air ball. Yeah, I saw picking up a ton of equity on the turn. Me six. Yeah. And a call from Prahlad. $29,000 pot as we go to the river. But I probably would have and an oh, ace yeah. of clubs on the river. Oh, Are you yeah. kidding me? Good. Nut Good. flush Good. for Good. Andy. Good. Second <laughs> nut flush for Prahlad. Yeah. What a run out. For both players, Prahlad thinks perhaps he got there, but in fact, he was already there, and now he got coolered. And after checking the flop, getting three bet on the flop, check calling the turn, now Prahlad is going to lead the river with queens. So perhaps he thinks Andy might have a hand like pocket jacks with a jack of clubs. Or a set of fours or a set of threes, or some sort of smaller flush. Thank you. As he could have a combo draw when he three bets the flop as well. And Prahlad's gonna lead 20,000 into 29,000. And here comes a raise by Andy for value. Um, Prahlad, you want that? Oh, sorry, he's in a hand. Andy 
raises it up to 46,000. If Perlod makes the call, it would be one of the bigger pots we've ever had on Live with the Bike. King high flush for Andy with ace of clubs on the board. He has the nut flush. And Perlod with the second nut flush. Andy went nuts and got there. Of course, deuce five of clubs is the actual nuts, but is very unlikely from either player when Perlod raises the high jack and Andy calls the button. I wish we were playing Greek hold. Oh, it wouldn't matter, right? Both your cards have to yes. I guess he'd still have me in Greek hold. Odd Freeman in a tough spot. Two high stakes players here, Perlot and Andy, who have been around the Los Angeles poker scene for a long time. <laughs> You'd have to have absolutely like five, six with the five, five, six offsuit. You just you can't come up with a hand. I owe one of these. Yeah. Oh. yeah. So you, you, you owe all of them. All of them. They're all gone. Oh, okay. So yeah. now I have 30 seconds. Yeah, you yeah. better pay attention. Prolad down to his last 30 seconds. He's used all five time yeah, extension chips. He will have none left for the rest of the show. Close. If he doesn't, it's just painful. That's all. I did feel bluffy. Uh, he just has to have like. And Prahlad Freeman uses the full five minute time extensions and makes the correct fold as Andy takes down a big pot. But a good fold by Prahlad. And Andy now up over $61,000 over after that crazy hand. Flopping, flopping bottom set in a three bet pot as Berkey three bet the queen eight suited and he's going to bet. bet. Gutter, and it's a decent card to continue on. But he doesn't know that Pallad has bottom set. Check, check. Berkey's going to check back. Good check by Matt. And the river's a four. Shooting woes. Angel. A great player can just. Lod's gonna bet 10,000. Healthy size bet. Shooting. Yeah. For him. You got better, way better, yeah. 70% almost. Yeah. He went from like 48 to like yeah. 77. It could, it, like it could be done. 10 seconds. Do you, do you notice he says something to his teammates? Remember he said? I googled it. I was like, what is he saying? Five when seconds. When he shoots his free throws now, next time you watch him shoot his free throws, he like, Wow, he's, Matt Berkey like, throwing in a timing extension ship with Queen High. And then he'll like ask a question or say something. Interesting. And then 
then he goes. And then he shoots. Yeah, wow. next time. Actually, Paul I went, I went to the Mavericks here. game and I was like sitting in the front, but I didn't know I didn't notice anything. Just watch it next time. I, I'm Seems like, like kind of a waste of a time session chip. I don't know. I Googled it. I was in like, this what spot. Does DeAndre Jordan say? Like, uh. It might be some psychological yeah, trick. Yeah, it's like, you might have got a tip to buy. Yeah, I don't know what it's super weird. But he didn't, I don't think he did that in the past, so. Another time extension chip from Matt Berkey, and now he's just deciding to call a fold. He has queen high. What does he beat? He beats a hand like 9-10 of clubs. 9-10 of spades. 8-9 of clubs. 7-8 of clubs. 6-7 of clubs. That's really it. There's no other hand that Berkey can beat. Berkey just called with queen high. Oh, wow. What just happened? Perlot Freeman wins a $32,000 pot with a set, and Berkey pays it off with queen high. Wow. And Berkey's now down 63000 I think he's reaching for more chips. Might be entering maniac mode for Matt Berkey in these last three hours. Flop for Matt Berkey. He's got double gutter and a flush draw. Garrett with top pair. Turn is a six. He's going to have to barrel again. He's got a lot of equity. 39% with King High. He can win with an 8, a Queen, a King, or a Spade. But no, he checks. Interesting to see if he would check Call or check Raise if, if Garrett decides to bet. But Garrett checks it back as well. River's an 8. So Matt Berkey gets there. Oh, and Berkey checks it. Check. And Garrett checks as well. And Berkey, with a straight, wins the minimum. We reached a milestone here on Live of the Bike. We now officially have our largest live audience that we've ever had on Live of the Bike. Over 7,400 live viewers at this moment. And Matt Berkey's going to add two hundred thousand dollars onto the table. There it is. Matt Berkey, who's down sixty thousand dollars today, just added two hundred thousand dollars on the table, and we're now close to a million. And Garrett's reaching for chips as well. Anytime he sees somebody top him and put more chips on the table, Garrett's going to make sure that he has the last laugh and can at least come close to covering everybody. And there it is. Garrett 
adding chips onto the table. There's the Lavenders. Matt Berkey just added 200,000. And Garrett just added 100,000. And ladies and gentlemen, we officially now have over $1 million on the table. More than $1 million now on the table in this million dollar cash game. There you have it. Not something we've ever seen before on Live at the Bike or here at the Bicycle Casino. Andy with Pocket Kings. This game just got real big, real quick, real serious. Over $1 million on the table. Steven Adams I really like, too. Yeah, he's... Everywhere I went to New Zealand, they would tell me about, hey, do you know Steven Adams is from New Zealand? <laughs> what, really? They're just so proud of it. Yeah, because yeah. we don't have any fucking NBA players. Oh, yeah, yeah. Sure, I had 30 sure. different people when I was there tell me how Steven Adams is from New Zealand. Yeah. 500. And we actually went to this one city called Broda Rua, and that's where he's from. So. Is it like a big one or what? Uh, it's a small city and like a hey, moderately popular hey, place for tourists. A big flop here between Matt Berkey and Andy, both with a flush draw. Berkey with top pair and a flush draw. And look at this, Ralph with bottom set. What an action flop. Top pair and a flush draw for Matt. Nut flush draw for Andy. Bottom set for Ralph Wong. <coughs> and this should be a standard spot for Ralph to put in a raise. These guys are infinitely are deep. Ran cross country? Try to track. Everybody is over 500 big I'm blinds deep. Have you ever seen Probably. a cash game this deep Ten at seconds. this high of stakes? Fourteen thousand from Ralph. You know what I mean? You think so? Yeah, that's what, Why? I, that's what I picture you. Well, he could be, yeah. That's what I picture you. Like, Nobody's gonna be able to fold the socks, pull the high socks and the bandana. I don't doubt that. Really. You know what I mean? Yeah. Just like tall, skinny, like yeah. Just but I, but I would have to obviously I would have to be super athletic like dunking on people like. No, I'm yeah. saying if, yeah, but yeah. that's that, that would be your look. Yeah. Yeah. Do you ever trip anyone? Like, like Michael Cooper. Yeah, yeah. But, but he have to have the band. Did he have the band down? No, no, but I got no, the scarf. He had the sweat. He just had the socks. Oh, just the sweat. Because I got trips. He makes right? the call. Yeah. This yeah, should yeah, be yeah, an yeah. easy spot yeah, for him to track. call yeah, here as he's getting plenty of the right price. Good old number 21 oh, yeah. back in the day. Calling 11,000 into a pot that will be 48,000, and he has 24% yeah. equity. And he's usually going to have more equity than this. My dad was born in Chicago. Shytown. Right, cool. What's that? Shytown. Shytown, yeah. 48,000 in the pot as we go nice to the turn. You know? yeah. Got a lot of art. Yeah, a lot of art And yeah. what a turn nice. card to a three of, of clubs. That's right, man. You knew it. You Berkey with a flush. Rest Andy with a flush. Win. Ralph with a set. <laughs> oh, and Andy <laughs> checks. <laughs> this should be a good it's spot for Andy right, to right. just lead, knowing that Ralph's going to have a bunch of sets here. <laughs> and that Ralph's going to know that at least one of the two other players has a flush. But Andy decides to check, yeah, yeah, yeah. perhaps missing a lot of value. If Andy leads, Ralph probably has to call a reasonable amount, and it's going to be hard for Matt to fold as well with a jack high flush. But Andy checks it, and Ralph checks it back. And the river's a king of clubs. Brutal. And Andy's probably going to bet this river, but I'd be surprised if anybody calls. $48,000 in the pot. If Andy had led, let's say, 20000 on the turn, we would have had likely 108000 going to the river in the pot. So much potential in this hand, and it's going to end up... 
being a pot much smaller than it could have been. Matt Berkey saved a lot of money in this hand by Andy not leading the turn. Berkey could have also led the turn as well. Ten seconds. Berkey essentially losing the minimum the way the hand played out post-flop. Like queens with the queen of clubs, and I lost this fucking pot because I didn't three bet Ralph. God damn it. Oh, oh and, and Berkey does oh. pay it off. Thought Berkey would get away from that one, but he doesn't. He pays it off. Seventy-six thousand dollar pot for Andy, and all of a sudden Andy is up a hundred and two thousand dollars. Ralph has red eight nine. Andy is destroying this game. He's up a hundred and two thousand American dollars. He's got over two hundred thousand. We have three players with over two hundred thousand dollars on the table. Never has happened before in Live of the Bike. Matt Berkey, Garrett Adelstein, Andy, all with over two hundred thousand. I'm making a fun time now. Should have bet. Oh, yeah. Probably won like five. If you bet minutes. one penny more, yeah, no, I would snap it for me. How many nut flushes, bro? Yeah, it depends on this no, hand. It's the queen. How many nut flushes, bro? I'm hand to hand, bro. That's how I live my life. I'm doing slapping you in the back. Too much. Oh. Well. Okay. Let me win the hand, please. Play fucking good and you'll win. No, doubt it. Alright, you're losing. <laughs> you gotta wait at least like 20, 30 minutes. <laughs> That's a good time. These are the pink, the pink money. Are you playing 5K, 10K? It's all pink chips. Ooh. That'd be nice. Crypto has to be like at like 100,000 for Bitcoin for that to happen. 10 seconds. Crypto is just crashing. Crashing and crashing. Matt Berkey flopping top two pair. Garrett bets his gutter turns top pair. Yeah, probably better than selling. How's Berkey gonna play this? Even though it's been a bear market for eight months. <laughs> been pretty bad, yeah. No signs of going out. Call from Berkey. River's set. a jack. Price. Full house for it. Matt. I saved on the recent. Got out of it. Exited everything. It was like 6,500 or whatever. Check. I saved a good 60% or whatever. Still got beat though. Got in anywhere. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, Three hundred in the pot. And an almost two X pot bet from Matt Berkey with a full house. There's some ten X's, some flush draws that Berkey could turn it uh, Berkey could turn into bluffs.
Berkey has not gotten paid off by Garrett yet tonight. You win in? Yeah. Both times Berkey's shoved for value against Garrett. Garrett made the right fold. I know, I know. I know, I know. Both hero folds. Garrett with top pair. Can he fold again against Berkey? Is he going to fold against him all night? You know, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to waste another one of these things. Just one more. No, I can't give away two. I mean, the rusher. Is that binding? I can give two. Yeah. Huh. I have no idea how I can win this one, really. I don't know. What's going on? I guess that? Yeah. That? Cool. That? Huh. Could be that, I guess. Ten X of Hearts is probably the most likely combo draw that Berkey would turn into a bluff. In order for him to bet this river for this size, he's probably got to have a Jack or King Ten. He happens to have Queen Jack. Could have Jack Ten. Could have Ten Eight King Ten. Five seconds. Ace Jack. Those are the hands that Berkey's repping here. And Garrett pays it off. Berkey finally gets paid by Garrett for one time tonight. $45,000 pot goes to Matt Berkey. Finally gets something to go his way. It wasn't queen nine. It wasn't ten seven a high. Matt Berkey in for 300000 He's down 65000 He was down almost 100 earlier. Garrett in for 250000 He's down 19000 I know my bluff is coming. No, I'm just Everybody else in for 100000 Andy, the big winner so far, up $99,000. As Garrett raises it up with 10-9 of diamonds. Matt Berkey on the button with jack-8 of clubs. And a three bet from Matt to $3,000. He loves making oh, those huge court, three bets, man. 5x, and it's Garrett will continue with his suited connector. And that is an action flop right there. Top two pair for Matt Berkey. Open-ended straight draw with a backdoor flush draw for Garrett Adelstein. Are you stuck for blood? And Matt Berkey is going to... Bet oh, you like, uh, slightly like more than the pot, seven thousand dollars with his top two pair. Yeah. 20, 20 and Garrett seconds. cannot fold. So it's call or check raise for Garrett. He might check raise in a lot of situations against a lot of sizings with this specific hand, but against that size, he chooses to just call. Yeah, how are you doing? Over twenty thousand in the pot and an action turn card. The three of diamonds. So a clean top two pair for Matt Berkey and a straight draw and open or an open ended straight draw and a flush draw for Garrett with the ten nine suited. Garrett has lots of outs. And a massive bet by Matt Berkey. He's gonna bet pot and a half. Thirty thousand dollars with top two pair. How does he just know that Garrett has a massive hand here that he can't fold? And Garrett makes the call. Over $80,000 in the pot and we're going to the river. A nine on the river, still two pair for Matt Berkey. Garrett makes second pair, and he's going to check. These guys are super deep. They both started with over $200,000. That's over 1,000 big blinds to start the hand. And Matt Berkey will bet for value. There's over 80,000 in the pot. And he's going to bet 46,700. 
And Garrett is going to contemplate a hero call here with his nine. If Garrett calls, it would be a $174,000 pot, which would be the largest pot in Live at the Bike history. What will G-Man do? He throws out a time extension chip. He's gonna think this one over. Either way, this is a huge pot for Matt Berkey. Matt Berkey versus Garrett Adelstein. Matt has the best hand with two pair. This is a huge pot and Garrett Rivers a nine and he's thinking about making a hero call for 47,000. This is the battle that we all looked forward to seeing here in the million dollar cash game. And Garrett's gonna make another good fold against Matt Berkey. All in was the discipline pot. fold after discipline fold. And Matt Berkey takes down a huge pot, and he now has 275,000 in front of him. He's in for 300,000, so Berkey climbing his way back to even, down just $25,000 now. We have a new player here. There he is, Tan. If you watch Live of the Bike, you know Tan. He's played in our big game plenty of times. Tan's going to draw the seven seat. And he's going to be in for 100000 So welcome Tan to the game. Tan is, is, it, is it like a good action thing? player. Uh, have as many uh, a player that is uh, very good, but also yeah. very good action. He's in the Andy, Matt Berkey type category where he's not going to knit it up. He's going to... He's going to be in there. He's going to be making calls. He's going to be making bluffs. He's going to be playing hands. He's fun to have in the game. He's got a great attitude. Yeah. Very likable, very social. And he's going to spice this up. So we're now eight-handed. 100, 200. Million dollar cash game. There's now 1.15 <coughs> million on the table. And Garrett has added 50000 as well. So there's now $1.2 million on the table in this million-dollar cash game. $1.2 million. And Tan comes in with a straddle for 400 And Prahlad raises it up with pocket eights and a three-bet from Art. Or, okay, is it a, yeah, straddle from, from Tan. So Nick's going to cold call the small blind with pocket jacks. Tan gets out of the way. Prahlad calls with eights. We got a three-way, three-bet pot, 11,000 in there. And we have middle set for Nick and top pair for Art. Art checks it back. Good check by Art. Turns a deuce. That gives Art a gut shot as well as top pair. Nick bets 4,000. Art's going to make this call after checking back the flop. And the river's a king of spades. Not a great card for either player. This is going to make it harder for Nick to get some value.
and Art's going to make the good fold. So Nick takes down a nice pot. And Nick's now up $10,000. My one shot the four bet you do. Three to eleven. Andy raising it up with pocket threes. We're doing the round of straddles. 100, 200, 400. Art's going to three bet king queen. Andy makes the call. Full house for Andy right on the flop. What a flop for Andy. He is having himself a day. And Art's going to bet the flop. Andy playing it. Trappy makes the call. Does Art want a barrel again? is barreling. And Andy makes the call again. $27,000 pot. Rivers a 10. Check. Andy checks. Will Art go for a third barrel? Or does he think that something's up? Oh boy, Art is reaching for chips, and Andy loves the look of that. Andy played this hand perfectly, just calling the flop, calling the turn, letting Art go for it. The bet is 18,400, about two-thirds pot from Art, and I believe Andy is gonna put in a check raise here. The only hand that he should believe he loses to here is pocket tens. Art could have some 7x suited hands. Art can have over pairs that he bets all three streets with, like jacks, queens, kings, aces. And so Andy needs to put in a check raise here. It could be something around 45 or 50,000. No, he just calls. And I'm definitely surprised by that just call by Andy. I thought for sure he puts in a check raise. Pocket tens is really the only hand he loses to. But Andy plays it careful. And it didn't matter anyway because Art was bluffing. And Andy makes the call. Wins a $64,000 pot. And Andy is now up $128,000 today. What a session he's having. It's a good hand. Just one. Look what I've gotten aces four times in the last two orbits. <laughs> Before that, I was just stone dead. Yeah, I got to only right, with minus ace 10, raises it up. I felt so much hope. We have a straddle going here 100, 200, 400. And Garrett wakes up with pocket kings, another big hand for Garrett. Puts in three bet to 4,400. And Ralph wakes up with pocket jacks. This could be a cold four bet spot for Ralph. He's on the button. 
It's a hijack cutoff button. This is an easy four bet for Ralph. But he's not going to be happy when he finds out he's going up against Kings. Eleven thousand four hundred is the four bet from Ralph. Garrett with pocket kings. Does he just flat? Does he put in the five bet? Imagine if Garrett just shoved here on Ralph. What would Ralph do? It's one hundred, two hundred, four hundred. So Ralph has two hundred big blinds. So I did, right? And Garrett makes the call. We could have a huge pot. 25,000 as we go to the flop. Red or black? Red or black? Red, black. Red. 958. It's an okay flop for both players. And Garrett checks. He's going to play his kings passively. Ralph's going to have to bet here for protection with his jacks, I would imagine. Might be over, might be not, might not be over. Two four hundred game a commerce book that came over here to play on the two hundred two hundred game. <laughs> Eight thousand is the bet from Ralph. There's two four commerce? No man. <laughs> you think I would, I would choose to play on stream at hundred two hundred? Forty one thousand dollar pot as we go to the turn. And another nine. And now a lot of draws on the board. Two hearts, two clubs. Uh, uh. I think Ralph's going to check this turn a lot. He's going to bet sometimes. Seriously? But the SPR is what pretty happened? low. Just pot and a half left. I thought this was the spot. If he bets yeah. this turn, it's to, to check back river. It's kind of crazy how, like, the... The mid -high and he does. He bets fifteen thousand. Like been exhausted. Is it just like mostly private? Uh, yeah. It'll come back around. And Garrett makes the call. $71,000 in the pot, and Ralph has $48,000 behind. Fun for the and the line. river is an ace of clubs. That it is likely an action shot, killer. But. Ralph can really only beat tens here. He turned his hand into a bluff. He could get There's kings no. or queens to fold. There's no like, sense of control. Where Gives you don't, up. Don't really checks it. Winning. And Garrett's going to take it down with kings. $71,000 pot for Garrett Adelstein. Jeez, man. And that's the last hand of the show. Well, that's how we're going to end it. The Ralph Wong comes out of his, his value haven and tries to go after someone. And that's going to bring us to the end of the show. We had an amazing show tonight. The million dollar cash game is over. 11 hours of poker is complete. These are the final chip counts. Garrett with $371,000 on the table, the biggest stack we've ever had on Live of the Bike. Here are the final stats. Matt Berkey, the most active with 45%. VPIP, Garrett and Tan at 30%. Nick and Art at the bottom. And the biggest winner of the show, Andy, won $128,000. Congratulations to Andy. Second biggest winner. Sorry. Sorry, guys. Ends up being Garrett, who after that big pot at the end, wins $21,000. In for $350, out for $371. Garrett, the second biggest winner. Nick, the third biggest biggest winner, up $17,000. And then Tan, who won $11,000. Those were the winners. Andy, the big winner. Garrett, Nick, and Tan, thank you to everybody for tuning in in this epic show. We broke records tonight. We appreciate all of the support. We'll see you next week for more epic Live of the Bike action.